Welcome to the guide to Arkham's Tracer. In this video, we'll look at how to use the Tracer and review its key features. Let's get started. Click the button on the platform's top bar to enter the Tracer. This will automatically create a new blank trace. To create a new trace, first add an address to the Tracer by typing or copy-pasting an address into the bar on the left-hand side. You can double-click on Untitled Trace to rename your trace. Changes are saved automatically. Switch between inflow and outflow on the left-hand side to show the top addresses that this node has received funds from or sent funds to. And add specific addresses to the tracer with the green buttons. When you add more nodes to the graph, you will first need to click Fetch Flows so that Arkham reads the fund movements of that specific address. You will then be able to see its top counterparties and add them to the tracer as normal. To review the specific transactions that make up these fund flows, click on any of the lines between the nodes and a transaction log will pop up, displaying the relevant transactions that contribute to the total volume. If you're trying to search for specific types of transactions and fund flow, you can also apply filters to the total flow using the buttons on the top of the left-hand bar. Search by specific tokens, USD value, token amount, time, or chain, and the tracer will only display volume that applies to the chosen filters. Once you're finished with your trace, you can review your other saved traces using the All Traces tab. If you'd like, create a new trace using the blue button at the bottom. Now you know the basics of the tracer feature. Good luck. We look forward to seeing what you can create.